To help kick off National Hispanic Heritage Month, the Maxwell Museum of Anthropology is hosting composer Nathan Felix, who will be premiering his new immersive opera, Glory Gone. To tell us what we can expect from that performance is the Curator of Education and Public Programs at the Wax Maxwell Museum of Anthropology, Julian Carrillo, and composer Nathan Felix himself. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Welcome. for having Welcome. Thank you guys so much for being here. Tell us a little bit about what an immersive opera is. Well, I think Nathan might be the best for okay. person to answer that. Yeah, sure. So an immersive opera is an opera that's staged in a site-specific area. In this particular performance for Glory Gone, it's at the Maxwell Museum. And the audience has freedom and agency to move around the performers. And cool. it moves from building to building. That is very cool. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit more about Glory Gone, other than we'll be moving around a little bit? Uh, what can viewers expect? So it's a story about a fictional pop star that crosses over. She's Latina. She okay. crosses over into the mainstream, much like Selena. Um, and she is then attacked and her, she loses her voice. And so the theme is about restoring voices. So she struggles with the identity of who she is now that she can no longer sing. Um, what role does the Maxwell Museum have in this? How did you guys get involved in this immersive opera? Uh, that's a good question. So um, it's obviously the venue, but we're, we're serving as the, the conduit to invite um, the, the students in particular, staff, faculty, and the public in general. Um, also, the, the opera resonates with one of our values, which is restoring voices and um, realizing communities. So, you know, we're, we're, we paired up about eight months ago and um, have been working really hard to make this possible. Nathan, what other artists are going to be performing in Glory Gone at this event? So we have local opera singers for the opera specific, but then we also have opening acts that are local, experimental, classical, and jazz, and um, others, other forms of music that will be performing before the opera. When is it? We know where it's at. When is it, and how can uh, our viewers get tickets if they're right. interested in checking um, it out? The opera, the event is tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. at the Maxwell Museum of Anthropology, which is west of Duck Pond. And we do have free parking. It's a free opera, free event. And uh, it'll go on till 7.38 or so. And um, yeah, we expect everyone to, to join. If you look at our Eventbrite page, um, Eventbrite's this platform, you just look it up, Maxwell Museum, mm -hmm. you'll find more information and a way to register if you want to. How much work has gone into this kind of production? Well, eight months uh, in, the, in the works, and you know, it takes me about a month to compose the piece, mm -hmm. then I cast, and then they rehearse. Um, we're going today for the first time in the museum to do the dress rehearsal. So it's a lot of work, but there's so much talent here in, in Albuquerque. So it's really fun to bring the community together. Very cool. Eight months of work. You guys don't want to miss the show. Again, Maxwell Museum of Anthropology, west of the Duck Pond, you Yes, said? behind okay. the UNM Chapel, uh, Alumni Chapel. Perfect. If you guys are looking for any more information, we'll have an entire recap of this interview on our website as well. That's always on krqe.com. We're going to send things to meteorologist Erica Meyer for a final look at our forecast. Good morning, Erica. All right. Good morning.